It's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring to episode 2 of Fate Grand Order. Yeah, I finally got home after going to this wedding. It is 2 in the morning. I am tired as hell. I am drinking soda just to keep my ass awake. And I got this in SAO. I think if you know, I would have watched this um, before I would have left. I would have, well, no, I still would have had to watch my extra show that I gotta fucking watch after this guy. But. Yeah, I had a good time, but I'm tired, and I just want to get this issue done, so I ain't got to worry about it. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode two, in three, two, one, go. Okay, so you're telling me the person with the green hair who kind of looks like C2 is neither man nor female. He, they identify by he or she. And then somebody said something really weird last week saying that, I, I don't even remember, but I listened to the comment and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, I think that's like a, a spoiler maybe? I'm not 100% sure. So, it's going to be like so many times where I call him he, she, him, her. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I might mean, not look like it on my face, but bruh. Oh my god, my body hurts so much. And I took a shower, but you know how, like, even after you take a shower, you were just like, I don't want to do anything. That's me. Because, uh, like, when I got in the not when I got in the house, when I got in the car, I was like, hey, ooh, I'm going the fuck home. And then I was like, oh shit. I gotta watch this. But I was like, no, I'm still excited because I want to see this. But at the same time, I was like, shit. <laughs> I was like, I can't go straight to bed. It's okay, though. It's all worth it. Oh, man, I think it's okay. Oh, she writes so well. Okay. I would have been a little bit the first to see it show up by all of this 20 episodes. Maybe. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Yeah, you don't really want to do that because you might get your ass whooped.
Why? Is there anything else you could do? See, that's somebody who know too much shit. See, that's why we always don't trust everybody in this damn series. I mean, that end up kicking you in the ass. Okay. Now, I don't think with all three of them, technically four with Fuji, it, it, they're going to defeat her because reasons, but who knows? Excuse me. You know, gone. Yes, what exactly is your name? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so you're telling me that's Merlin?
Thanks for bringing the dog in. I could have got him later. Come here. Go lay down, pup. Kind of pay for the Excuse me. Oh my. Hello. My God. You're fine. You are fine. You only crying because you want my attention. Okay, but the weird thing is, why isn't your master with you? Because, like, that seems really odd, because, like, with, with them, they're together. There you go, babe. I mean, hold up. At least one of y'all is going to keep watch for like maybe what, two, three hours and then the next one and so on and so forth. I mean, because y'all sleeping in the damn woods. And it's cute. She kind of reminds me of Grey. Teeny tiny bit. Oh, God, it's so pretty. 
Excuse me. Oh my god, so cute. <clears throat> but see, in my opinion, I feel like uh, I'm about to say the same word. I feel like he has something more to deal with this. Because, like, honestly, see, now I feel like I can't trust anybody else. I feel like I can't even trust Merlin after this shit that happened. Because you never know. Merlin or anybody else that they meet after this could fucking two time them. I'm just saying. But see, I don't think Anna and Merlin will really do anything to them. Because if they really wanted to, they would have did it by now, but no. Why won't you take your head off, though? See, when she puts her head up like that, she kind of looks like Sakura in a little way. Like, ding, ding, a bit. Also, her hair was a lot more darker. Let's just hope she ain't got no freaking twisted fate like Sakura, because I swear to God, nobody's story is going to be that sad as Sakura. Holy shit, man. Don't even want to talk about that. You'll see that on Tuesday. But she's so fucking cute, like, oh my god. God damn it. I don't like the fact that there's, like, CGI people in the background, but you know what? That's okay. It's just a little minor thing. It ain't major. I'll get over in the next few episodes.
Mit. <lacht> oh mein Gott, okay. Oh, well, damn, already? I thought it was gonna, like, wait until episode three to meet him. Yeah, you may have to wait till next week. Wait, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. We can't fucking talk. Motherfucker has bundled. No, 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 no. She see between my husband. No. <laughs> hey, dude, we fucking fireboy. We like, no, we just go fucking kick ass first and then fucking talk. Any questions you want to know? Ask me. Let me kick your ass first, and then we talk. I'm like, no, man, we can't. But we talk first, and then we kick each other's ass. Like, come on, man. So that I have a reason to be mad at you, because then, okay, to me, it makes no damn sense to just like say, all right, fuck it, let's just you know fight now for some stupid reason, and then talk, and then we go get mad at each other again, and then what you gonna do? You gonna fight again? <laughs> Plus, I, I mean, I just love seeing it, but yeah, I'm not just saying. But, okay. I don't know why, and I kind of said, I wanted to say this last week, but I couldn't really um, think of what it reminded me of. And that kind of way, I, I had to 100% make sure that it did a teeny tiny bit. And this was a show, this was a show that came out oh, 20. 14, I believe, 2013 or 2014. If you've seen, like, on Spike, um, they did this special on King Tut. It kind of gives me feels towards that. Not too much, because I know it's a completely different story. It has nothing to do with King Tut. Da, 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 but just, like, the way the atmosphere and the surroundings and the people look, it gives me so many goddamn feels towards King Tut. And, and I mean, damn, I kind of really want to watch it all over again because it's so good. But, I mean, I don't know. Do I want Gilgamesh to fight them? No. Then I want to know what the freak dude's, uh, dude's gonna plan because, you know, since he's now gone and 
I'm still wondering where the heck that person, where he went and such. And we're probably not going to see um, him again until maybe next week. Because now we know. I'm guessing, like, he's going to be the big main bad guy of this series. Our, you know, little Miss, Mr. Miss Mr. C2. That's what I'm going to call him. <laughs> but I still like him, even though he is a bad guy. But, like, at the same time, it like I said, it makes me a little cautious to meet any other character that we meet besides, you know, um... Ishtar, maybe if, like I said, Ishtar's sister does show up in the show, I still think that because of the fact that they showed her sister in the opening, I'm kind of really, like, 50-50, yes, she's going to be shown in the show, no, she's not going to be shown in the show, I'm not 100% sure, um, because of the fact is this is all really based off of a chapter for the game, and I haven't played it, I mean, I can't say <laughs> what the fuck I think is, you know, what I think is going to happen next, because we all know what I go, we're jack shit, because, you know, the fact is, I would have to still get up to the chapter where it is, which is chapter 7, and then find out for myself. So, like I said, I think I still am going to wait until the show is completely over, and then to just read it while I'm playing, or because of the fact is the anime. I feel like, in my opinion, the anime may go a little more detail than the, um, the game, but they could also half-ass it, because I have seen shows that are, like, somewhat based off of video games, whether it's a phone game, a <laughs> a PlayStation, Nintendo, um, any product of a game, and in the end, they kind of half-ass it, and they, every, like, detail that you want to know about these characters and certain things like that, you have to do research, and not a lot of people do not really want to do research. I 100% get that. I mean, sometimes, you know, especially when I, like, read a book or, like, I go to the movies and I see a movie that's based off of a book. Yeah, sometimes I don't really feel like doing it, but I do it in the end so I can still understand it and then I get into it and stuff. But I think, you know, possibly, yeah, in the end, I am going to have to do a lot of fucking research. But the episode was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I just, you know, I I'm hoping that, like, they, they can move past this. I just don't want them to fight. They don't need to. Just talk it out. Talk it out. We don't need to fight. Let's talk first and then fight. That's just me. But then, unless you really piss me off, then I, I'm like, fuck it, let's just fight first. Then we can talk, and then if we need to fight one more time, fuck it, let's just go again. But, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Tourist Episode 2 of Freight Grand Order. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. <clears throat> also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for Episode 3. Bye, guys!